Okay. Uh, my next one is walking, and this is a video. This video is going to be the interstate highways with the longest gap of um of primary of both A primary routes and B routes in general. So interstate. So we're going to do interstate first, and as for interstate 95, it has a relatively constant flow of new interstates. You have interstate 4 in Orlando, you have interstate 10 in Jacksonville, interstate 16 near Savannah, interstate 20 at Florence, South Carolina, interstate 40 at Benton, North Carolina. By the way, I'm only going to do it if like, it's unclear, but you basically know where a lot of these things are, and that's why I'm not going to mention them. You have interstate... 64 at Richmond, Interstate. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, yes, 26 at Charleston. Damn it. Um, that doesn't seem to go between 10 and 20. Um, interstate. Um, 76 is the next one at Philly. Uh, on the, wait, actually, I'm sorry, I don't actually have to count that one. Cause it's not an even, like, like, I mean, maybe I will, but you know what, I don't have to. Then again, uh, then again, if I don't include that one, I'm not going to include New York City at all, but... 78 is at Newark, New York, New Jersey. 80 is at Teaneck, New Jersey. Uh, 90 is at Western Massachusetts. Hmm. Okay, that appears to be it. But here's a thing. Only 10, 20, 40, 80, and 90 are actually primary. Whereas, even though 64 acts like it's primary, it's really not. It goes from, I mean, it goes from Eastern Missouri to Eastern Virginia. It's not too, too long. Now, some interstates you could actually measure due to the termini. Um, as interstates, like like Interstate 24 is a good example of this. It goes really out of order, but it goes from Interstate 57 to Interstate. Uh, 75. Now, while it does intersect 69 at Calvert City, Kentucky, 65 at Nashville, and 59 at Willwood, Georgia, it does kind of wrap back round in the long run. It does kind of wrap back round in the long run back to inter back to 75. So as you can see it goes across 18 interstates. Although I would say maybe more than 18% of the country. Actually it's less though. really less than 18% of the entire country. I mean, considering Chattanooga isn't that far from St. Police, Illinois, uh, at least on an east-west basis. Then again, had it went due east-west, it would sort of parallel US-72, I guess, and it would go through, and it would either go through the southern tier of Tennessee, intersecting Interstate 40 at, near Memphis, or potentially even through southern, Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. Although then it wouldn't really intersect 57, would it? Yeah. Yeah, 57 only goes as far south as Sykes in Missouri. In any case, Interstate 85 only goes from Interstate 95 at Keysville, Virginia. To Interstate 65 in Montgomery, Alabama. So it intersects Interstate 20 at Birmingham, Alabama. No, Atlanta, Georgia. 
and Interstate 40 at Greensboro, North Carolina. Along with that, they'll tear and intersect too many other interstate highways. I mean, it intersects some interstates, but not enough for it to matter. I don't know what that was, but anyway, it, um, but anyway, I believe it does also intersect 74, maybe? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Whatever. There's also this thing called the Petersburg-Richmond Turnpike, a 50-kilometer turnpike going from Petersburg to Richmond. That begun on Interstate 64, mostly headed down 95, and went on 85, but 85 doesn't go as far north as 64 does. Why 64 there when it's so out of order? Well, because after 64, the, it really isn't one until 44, because there are all rules that say that they can't be in the same state. So if you had even an Interstate 60, it would probably at a point go through Virginia. It probably at a point, where, I think actually Interstate 64 might have been the chosen Interstate 60, but given how it parallels US 60 so closely, that wouldn't work. And I mean, an Interstate 50 might have worked if it was further south, but it, could, it can't go through Virginia or West Virginia at all. Anyway, so as for, um, anyway, so as for the, um, 75, we have interstate, it intersects a lot of interstates. I mean, we have interstate 4 at, uh, uh, at east of Tampa, Florida, interstate 10 at Lake City, Florida, 20 at Atlanta, interstate 40 at Knoxville, Tennessee, there's actually a concurrency, yes, kind of. Oh, I forgot 24 at Chattanooga. Uh, no, it doesn't go as far as the 26. To be honest, I don't even know if 26 intersects with 81, though I think it would. <sighs> 64 is at Lexington, Kentucky. 70 is, uh, I don't know where, there's no Ohio. Maybe Daytona? Interstate 80 and 90 on that note are both in Rossford, Ohio. And in this case, the gap only appears to be a 30 because it intersects both 40 and 70. And Interstate, And Interstate 94 and 96 are both at Detroit. 96, ironically, before 94. If anyone also, by the way, just cares to wonder, if anyone cares to wonder, by the way, if anyone cares to wonder, by the way, uh, the reason why 70 and 95 are intersected, they're both in the city of Baltimore, along with 83. No Baltimore highway intersects with another Baltimore highway. The reason is because they all connect to 695, but there were a lot of freeway shortages. For example, where 83 would have intersected 95 is in southern Baltimore. 83 ends at central Baltimore. It ends, um, to um, east of 58th Street, which ends at Jones Falls Expressway. It then intersects US 1 in the city and I 695 at Timonium, just north of the city. And the next interstate intersects with US 30 at York, Pennsylvania. Though, despite seeming that it should be 
more closely, like despite to me it should be somewhere close to Harrisburg, it really isn't. I'm not sure if it's 16 miles from the New Orleans Terminus or 16 miles from the Maryland border, and at two points it's 16 miles from each other. It's been 50 miles, which is just over 48 miles, or 80 kilometers within the state of Pennsylvania. <clears throat> anyway, Anyway, as for interstate, um, anyway, as for interstate, uh, anyway, so as for interstate 70, it would have had it intersected 95, which would have happened in central Baltimore, but it ends in the westernmost corner of Baltimore, debatably at Woodlawn. Um, had 70 proceeded, they, uh, uh, it would have covered around 80% of the country, given how 80% of the interstates, because it begins at Interstate 15 at Cove Fort, Utah. In any case, 65 also has the gap of 30 that literally every interstate has to have, because you have Interstate 10 where it begins at Mobile, Alabama. Uh, going up, we have Interstate 20 at Birmingham, Alabama, Concord 59. We have Interstate 40 at Nashville. We also have Interstate 24 at Nashville. We also have Interstate 64 at Louisville, Kentucky. But it's not primary. Yeah, to be honest, I wonder what, what it would actually look like if 64 and 44 are the same highway system. Because 44, you actually used to end to 64 along with 65 and 70, but then they built another bridge. So 44 is actually extended 2.4 kilometers, although not into Illinois. It was never planned to go to Illinois. You know, it ends literally just a couple hundred meters from the border. I could show you uh, some of those things so you believe me a little bit more when I say them. But how to, how to go out, it was, it was actually a, a major road going from Wichita Falls, Texas to, to the Hampton Roads area, Virginia. And it would be a powerhouse road. We could even call it Interstate 54. Although it probably would be in the same state as US 54. Actually, that's a guarantee because US 54 goes through Texas. And that's a problem because Texas has a bunch of US routes. So you can't really have expanded interstate wide. Anyway, as for interstate um, 65, it then intersects 70 and 74, both at Indianapolis, and then 80, 94 at Gary, and then 90 in Gary, Indiana. So that's the thing, it goes, so that's the thing, in, in reality, only goes that 30 and same for 55. It intersects Interstate 10 at Laurel Place, Louisiana, Interstate 12 at Hammond, Louisiana, Interstate 20 at Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, I don't think it, no, it doesn't intersect Interstate 22. 269 does, and it's has a concurrency of 69 from uh, Mississippi in, into Memphis. But Memphis is not where it intersects Interstate 40. That honor actually goes to 
West Memphis, Arkansas. Anywho, and um, it intersects interstates 44 and 64 in St. Louis. 64 extends to East St. Louis, though, where it has a concurrency with Interstate 70 throughout Western Illinois. It, it then intersects Interstate 80 at, Ch at Chiana Ho or something like that in Illinois and Interstate, oh God, uh, and Interstate 90, um, as well as 94, they are actually concurrent. It's in Chicago, Illinois. So it also has that, but it's actually the one that only has a gap of 20 at a point. Anyway, Interstate 45 is short, even shorter than 85. It, it intersects 10 at Houston and 20 and 30 at Dallas, and that's it. Also, we're far enough west now that 30 is a reckonable for us, although I don't think it, it exists. Oh, no, I think 35 does. Oh, but it splits. So you have 10 at Interstate 10 at San Antonio, I believe Interstate 14 is at Belton, Texas. Then you have Interstate West. Without, so 35 and 74 and 35 and 72 and 35 and 88 uh, and then 65. Where do they intersect? That I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's get out. Anyway, they intersect, um, anyway, they intersect, um, interstate, yeah, anyway, they intersect, interstate, um, And this is at 20, when it's 20 and 30, it's split up. So 35 West would, at Fort Worth, 35 East in Dallas. Then it's actually with 40 and 44, around the same time, at Oklahoma City. It intersects 70 at Kansas City, as well as 29. Um, it intersects 80 at West Des Moines, Iowa. It intersects 90 at Albert Lee, Minnesota. So again, it's the same gap of 70 applies. And it intersects 94, it, it splits. So 35 west in Minneapolis, 35 east at St. Paul. So you're gonna know that there are a lot of case specific interstates that you only see when you're traveling along a certain interstate. In any case, Interstate 25 intersects 10 at Las Cruces, 40 at Albuquerque, so uh, the gap of 30 actually just twice, 70 at Denver, 80 in Cheyenne, 90 in Buffalo, only major interstates does 25 intersect. Well, actually, Interstate 76, although a different 76, it intersects in Denver, Colorado. Interstate 15 intersects, uh, begins at Interstate 8 at San Diego, Interstate 10 is in Ontario, 40 is at Boston, all of this is in California, but Interstate 70, Interstate 70, Interstate 70, That's in Cold Fort, Utah. 80 is at Salt Lake City, Utah. 90 is in Butte, Montana. See, by this point, we're so far west that not even 94 exists. Although I bet that if Interstate 25 was extended further north along 90 uh, in a concurrency that began in Buffalo, Wyoming, and went to Billings, Montana, I bet it, it would actually intersect 94. Like, like, ni like 94 is at the same, I guess, longitude as 25. And it ends at 69, though it doesn't look like 75, so that makes the 44% of the country goes across into 50%, and 50% sounds more accurate. 
Nevertheless, life does not always walk like that. For example, uh, I can't give an example now. I'll give you an example later. Interstate 5, intersects Interstate 8 at San Diego, 10 at LA, not even 40. In fact, it goes straight up to 80 with a gap of 70 in San Francisco. It intersects 84 at Portland, Oregon, and Interstate 90 at Seattle, Washington. I sure hope that my phone has a lot of battery. To be honest, I sure do. But with east-west interstates, you don't see that major thing because there is, because it's not like there's a 50, 60 gap. It's not like there are interstates that are missing. But Interstate 10 intersects Interstate 5 at LA, 15 at Ontario, California, 20, 5 at Las Cruces, New Mexico, 35 in San Antonio, 45 in Houston, 55 at La Place, Louisiana, 65 in Mobile, Alabama, 75 in Lake City, Florida, and 95 at Jacksonville, Florida, making 85 unique. Interstate 20 intersects Interstate 35 West at Fort Worth, 35 East and 45 in Dallas, um, 55 at Jackson, Mississippi, 65 at Birmingham, Alabama, 75 and 85 both in Atlanta, and 95 at Florence, South Carolina. 40 intersects Interstate 15 at Boston, California, 25 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 35 at Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, well, 44, but that's irrelevant. Um, uh, 55, oh wait, we forgot 30. Yeah, but that's really almost the 35 East and 35 West at, um, in Dallas, Fort Worth. Oh, and 45 at Dallas. In any case, where were we? Oh, yes, 50, uh, th uh, 55 at West Memphis, Arkansas. 65 at, um, at, uh, at Nashville. 75 at Knoxville, Tennessee. 85 at Greensboro, North Carolina, and 95 at Florence, South Carolina. So they, so none intersects all, but we haven't seen too many great gaps yet. Like we haven't seen a gap longer than 20, because most of it's just termini and shit. But Interstate 70 has 15 at Cold Fort, Utah. 25 at Denver, Colorado, 35 in Kansas City, uh, Missouri, along with 29. 55, I mean, there are 45 in Seattle, whatever. 55 at East St. Louis, Illinois. 65 at Indianapolis. 75 in that weird random point in Ohio. No 85 and no 95 either. 70 is missing the most, but there's no but there's nothing to like close that gap. As for 80, it intersects all. Five at Sacramento, ex except 45. Five at Sac, and 85, so I lied. Five at Sacramento, 15 in Salt Lake City, 25 in Cheyenne, and you could look up the states. Uh, 35 at West Des Moines, 55 at Chanahan, I believe. 65 at Gary, 75 at Rashford, and 95 at Teaneck. Finally, 90 has all of them except 45 and 85. 5 at Seattle, 15 in Butte, Montana, 25 in Buffalo, Wyoming, 35 at Albany, Minnesota, 55 in Chicago, 65 at Gary, 75 at Rashford, Ohio, and 95 at Weston, Massachusetts. We haven't mentioned the small interstates, but that's because we don't have any power.